Okay, let's start creating some scenes. Firstly, make sure you've got the scenes tray open. On a Mac, to do that, go to Window and tick Scenes. If you're on a Windows machine, go to Window, Default Tray, Show Tray, and make sure the Scenes tray is selected. Okay, the first thing I like to do is create a home or working scene that I can use to play around with the model, make changes to the geometry or finishes without really affecting any of the settings I need for my 2D output. So to do that, if we go to the Scenes tab, click on the plus button, add a scene, and let's call that working. The next thing to do is to start extracting the 2D content that we need to send to layout to create our drawings. Let's start with the views from the outside of the building, the elevations, as we don't need to create any section planes for these. Let's create another scene and call that North Elevation. Okay, the North Elevation is this part of the building. That's what I want to see. We could look at that by panning around and kind of nudging it into the right place, but it just takes too long. It's not very accurate. Luckily, in SketchUp, we get standard views that are the different sides of the building. The way we can find them is on camera, standard views, top, front, and in this case, back. You can also find those standard views using these buttons here. To get those buttons, go to, on a Mac, go to View, Customize Toolbar, select Standard Views and drag and drop them. If you're on a PC, right click on an empty space on the toolbar and select Views. Okay, so if we use the back view, that'll give us our north elevation. But you'll also notice that it's still not quite right. And that's because we're looking at a perspective view of our model and we need a flat isometric drawing. The way to get that is to go to camera and select parallel projection. And there we have it, a flat view of the building. And once we've got the view we want, we can pan and zoom around to make sure that we've got everything we want to see on the screen. And once we have it the way we want it, update the scene to save the changes. You can do that by clicking on these arrows here. You'll see it says update scene if I hover over it. Alternatively, we can go to this tab for the scene, right click, update. Okay, so now if I go to my working scene, I can go back to the north elevation. One thing you'll notice is that SketchUp likes to create these little transitions between your scenes, little animations. I don't really need this, and unless you're going to produce an animation for your project, I don't think you do either. So I find it a waste of time and processor speed, so I turn it off. The way to do that is to go to Model Info using this icon here. And under Animation, where it says Enable Scene Transitions, just untick that. Now you'll see it quickly flicks from one scene to the next without the necessary animation. Now we've got this elevation set up, it's relatively easy to create the rest of our elevations. If we create another scene, and call that South Elevation, another for East Elevation, and finally one more for the West Elevation. So if we go to our South Elevation and select the front view, and update that scene. And then if we go to East Elevation and select the side view here, update. And finally, the West Elevation and select the other side view. 
update. And as quickly as that, we've got north, south, east, and west elevation scenes all set up and ready to go.